This is a YouTube alternative that has no ads and offers all YouTube features and more in one place. And with the app, you can play suggested or such videos without ads. You can also play videos in pop-up mode just like on YouTube Premium. And there's also a unique feature that lets you play any video as audio but technically it doesn't really play the video as audio since the video does keep playing in the background. But the overall concept is nice. Plus, if you want to get recommended videos and other YouTube features, just sign in in the app with your Google account and you're good to go. This is a web browser that lets you browse the web in floating windows just like you would on PC. Just open the app and then search for anything in the search bar and then hit search and the results will pop up as a small floating window on your screen. Also, you can resize the widget as you prefer. You can also bring any page to the front if you have many tabs open at once. You can minimize any tab by just moving it to any side of your screen which is really nice and you can also view any website in full screen if you need to do so. Plus, the app supports Bing and DuckDuckGo as search engines just in case if you hate Google. Staying in the browser zone for a minute, this is Via. Now, Via is a lightweight browser that makes browsing the web a breeze. And the app features a simple user interface that's easy to interact with. It also has all the basic features that you'll need from a browser and some exclusives like a built-in ad blocker that blocks ads on any site. You also get an incognito mode for private browsing. The browser also supports six different search engines that you can use to your liking. Also, you can customize the look and feel of the browser to your preference. Plus, I have only mentioned a few features of the browser, but the browser has plenty of other features that I can't cover all in this video, so be sure to check the app to discover those features too. This is an app that lets you extract APKs from any of your system or third-party apps. Just select or create your custom folder for extracted APKs, then tap OK, then tap Extract on the app that you want to extract its APK and you're done. Plus, if you select any system or third-party app, you can open, uninstall and even share the APK of that specific app. But if you want to uninstall system apps, your device needs to be rooted. And hey, if you want to see more Android app videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any of my future videos. This right here is a very useful app that can help you lower your screen's brightness to a level lower than your system settings. And simply what the app does is that it simulates a dark overlay on your screen that acts as a light filter which makes it possible to decrease brightness below your system settings. And this app is a really useful tool if you have an older Android phone that runs Android 9 or lower which doesn't support dark mode but you still need a better viewing experience at night. These beautiful widgets right here on my home screen are from an app called Nothing KWGT. And with the app, you get tons of beautiful widgets inspired from the Nothing phone that are really great for dark setups. And the developer has been so kind and has added wallpapers in the app that really blend well with the widgets and also give any home screen a premium look. And a quick heads up is that this app isn't free but the quality of the widgets and attention to detail is definitely worth buying. Okay, something to vibe with the Nothing KWGT pack, this is the Nothing Adaptive Icon Pack. And with the icon pack, you get 2700 plus icons with a beautiful red and black design that really makes premium icons and can also make amazing home screen setups if you get creative. Also, the app has wallpapers designed specifically to match the icon style. Plus, the icon pack works decently on 23 launchers including the Big Beasts, Nova Launcher, Launcher and Niagara Launcher. You know, life gets in the way sometimes and it happens we sometimes or often forget some really important days. Now with the app Bad Day, you won't forget any of those special days. Just add that date whether it's a birthday, anniversary or any other event and the app will give you a reminder when that day reaches. Thank you for watching, this is Hakmite, drop me a like if you found the video useful and I'll catch you in the next one.